Now, your news on the go. An emotional day in court as two teens who killed 11-year-old Brexia Lee Torres Ortiz were sentenced. 19-year-old Rashawn Patterson and 16-year-old Dekeis Bridges sentenced to at least 25 years in prison. The third suspect in Brexia's murder, Davier Griswold, chose not to take a plea deal. His case is headed to a grand jury. The trial is set to begin in February. Zubit police giving us an update this morning about the two people found dead inside their home Monday. Officers tell us they were husband and wife. A family member found 40-year-old Heather Abdallah and 44-year-old Michael Abdallah dead in their home along West Benedict Road. A ghost gun was found near Michael's body. The county is still planning autopsies and the gun will be analyzed. We have a tough update on the driver who flipped his car along 690 East Monday morning. Police tell us the driver has died. The 44-year-old man from an area just north of Albany crashed into a ditch and ended up in three feet of water. It's not clear what caused him to crash. If you take 690 East, you might have been stuck in this backup in the middle of the morning rush yesterday. Besides being bumper to bumper, several cars were on the shoulder with flat tires. The state DOT telling us a bridge part is to blame. Right around 8 in the morning, a bridge joint was obstructing the road. Several cars got flats from it, but the road has been repaired. A sixth suspect is now behind bars after police say a group of women stole merchandise from the Coles on Route 31 and then led them on a chase in a stolen BMW. The Onondaga County Sheriff's Office tells us 31-year-old Kenyatta Rauer turned herself in this week. She's one of six people charged with grand larceny and other charges. The Christmas crunch is on. If you want your packages to get under the tree in time, you better ship now. Today is the last day for Priority Mail Express with the U.S. Postal Service. For UPS, next day air you have until tomorrow. And your last chance for FedEx same-day shipping is Friday. The Salvation Army is helping families put presents under the tree. The annual Christmas Bureau Distribution Day is today, and they're already setting up at the On Center in downtown Syracuse. The event starts at 9 and runs all day until 6. There's a toy and book for more than 2,200 kids. Families will also get a box of food to help them put a holiday meal on the table. Fran Brown is on a recruiting role. The new Syracuse football coach landing two more big commits for Cuse. First is former Texas A&M defensive lineman Fidel Diggs. The second, King Joseph Edwards, a four-star defensive end from Georgia. With the new pickups, SU's recruiting class has moved up to inside the top 40.